Hello again everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing Bioshock Infinite, the premium edition. Uh, I absolutely love the Bioshock game. This is uh, one of my favorite games actually of all time. Um, although it's like my least favorite as far as the Bioshock uh, series, but nevertheless great game, a wonderful game. I love the packaging for this and uh, we're going to kind of go over it right now. Uh, so as you can see, although it's for the PlayStation 3, it's actually pretty bulky um, in the front. You have, uh, you know, your poster it says PlayStation, Move compatible, Premium Edition, includes the original Bioshock, so that's cool. So technically, you get two games in one. Although, in my opinion, Part Two is the best, but that's just me. <laughs> On the side over here, it says what the Premium Edition has, which is the limited edition art book, the handyman figure, Devil's Kiss lithograph, Murder of Crows keychain, digital soundtrack, upgraded package. PSN themes. I would not count um, these three in my opinion, but yeah, it is what it is. On the side, it just has some artwork, and in the back, some more artwork. Um, top just says Bioshock, and nothing in the bottom just shows the sky. Uh, what I love about this packaging uh, mainly is the slip cover. So as you can see when it comes off, you know, the slip cover is just the top and this right here and some of the writing on the side and all of this here except for um, Elizabeth. So when you take it off, it's almost nothing but artwork, which I find pretty amazing. Go ahead and open it up. Picture of Booker taking a shot. So let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, so I'll take out the game first. From the art book. The handyman. Lithograph. just some foam so I'm going to put those to the side so we'll start with the game first so here's the game uh, kind of your standard PlayStation 3 game but what I do like about this is if you take out the CD see there's some more artwork in the back I like how it has that whole um, I guess we could say Renaissance feel to it. Here you have the season pass. And then the manual. And then as you can see, I really like that. I think that's pretty amazing. So here is the manual. Again, I like how it's just almost like just artwork. In the back. And that for kind of the I guess I'd say the artwork. I like, it that, I like that it's also in color. It has that old feel sepia tone to it. Like I said, it's not the best game in the series, but overall it's still an amazing game. Go ahead and put it back. What do we look at next? Um, let's look at the handyman figurine. Better men's auto bodies. Really like the box. Very unique. So you open that up, and here is the little handyman figurine. Pretty cool. Then you have the Murder of Crows keychain. Take it out for better inspection. I like how it feels. It has that old rustic feel to it. 
looks like shiny. Actually feels pretty good. Uh, then we have the lithograph. Columbia Customs and <laughs> I like that. It's very shiny. Here is the Devil's Kiss lithograph. Light the way. And last but not least is the art book. Uh, mine's pretty dirty. Um, I got this used and I, I got a pretty good deal for it, so keeping it this way. Columbia Customs in X size, I guess you could say, 1907. Has that, um, I guess almost like jeans like material felt and there is embossing in the gold and like most art books it's very glossy very well detailed it's uh, definitely a lot more detailed than the other art books that I've seen Um, I like how sometimes you go through like the uh, art book and you find that there were some drawings that should have made it to the game, in my opinion, and some that shouldn't, but yeah, at the end of the day, it's up to the developers, it's not up to us. That's what mods are for, right? A box pop away. I like the motorized Patriots. Man, were they scary. Especially this one, the wa George Washington. Ugh. Uh, the handyman should have been a lot scarier, in my opinion, but it's, um, uh, I don't know. The Boys of Silence. This one creeped me out, especially the first time you ran into him. Uh, the weapons were also pretty cool. Airships. And then some other locations. Yeah. And uh, that is it for Bioshock Infinite, the collector's edition. Um, would I recommend it? Absolutely. Um, it's a uh, Definitely great for any collection. Uh, like I said, they really took their time to make it very, very presentable, very collectible. It's uh, definitely one of the prizes in my collection. Please like, share, subscribe, and let me know what you think.